Hello and welcome back, and in today's video, it will be a compilation of all of my randomizer streams and videos. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. This took really, really long to make, and hope you enjoyed the video. First, we start our journey by creating a character, and the world, of course. I started the playthrough by just killing a few enemies, we first got our first proper weapon, the Nano Core. Safely, it's OP for the stage of the game I got in, and I would use it to get some better loot, and this would help for the rest of the game. After this, I watched just literally a few blocks and got one of the most OP weapons in the whole game, and I would use it for the rest of the playthrough. Next, I searched the whole map and found zero armor pieces, so I just logged off feeling very defeated. But the next day started, so I logged back onto the world. So, next, we went to the dungeon to fight the boss there, and the first boss of the random profile. But as you can see, it's now nighttime, so I went to the corruption and just fought some corrupted enemies, so I waited till nightfall. Oh yeah, and I fought this guy. He died pretty quickly. And now, finally, it's nighttime, and we summoned the boss for the epic boss fight. And it's done. Yep, he died in like five seconds. So I just collected the loot he dropped and prepared to run face first into the dungeon. After killing the boss, I got one of the, an item that would help in the long time future of the playthrough. Now, I went in the dungeon, and I was not really looking for anything special, but I did just want to get some armor and tools, like wings, better armor, which I have barely any of, and a weapon, just so I could make this playthrough a little bit easier for me to beat, and for you guys to watch and follow along. And then, yeah, I was just going to the dungeon and died. Yep. Somehow, with all this OP stuff, I still died. After dying, I began to fight some Skeletrons to try and set some good loot to come back to the dungeon with and try and get my coins and uh, items that I could have picked up back from the dungeon. Then I went back to the dungeon, got lots of coins, and then died again. Like, are you really kidding me? Like, I gotta pull this together, man. When I respawned, I killed a few mobs and round bosses and just logged off for the second time as I couldn't really handle the playthrough anymore for this day. The next time I logged on, it would be for a stream. And in this stream, the whole game changed. I started by getting some base storage systems that make the focus of the stream moving forward. And this stream would be where I would use NPC trades to get the best item in the game and beat it very, very easily. So I had to start pretty soon setting up everything to begin the trading. After this, I used a elevator to try and get to the underworld, but... Nothing had spawned the wall of flesh, so I didn't matter because I didn't have anything, so I just turned around and went back to the surface. But in the meantime, I enabled the most important setting in the whole of the video. It was the NPC random trade setting, and that's what I said at the start of this part of this game, but it was a game changer. Then I messed around with the pool builder. Boom. 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 After messing around for a while, I finally tried out the new NPC trades. Uh, guys, I forgot to check NPC shop. Is it random now? Boom. Oh, uh, what? He is not selling. Does it change? It does. Every time. Now that I know how the NPC trades work, here's a quick compilation of the best things I got from NPC trading. Now this is a really big compilation, so it took like 10 minutes, so yeah, hope you enjoy. I am Magnus. And what? But while doing all this trading, I realized something. I realized that I could get the Soul of Eternity from NPC Trade. If you didn't know, it's the Soul of Eternity's best item for the whole Fire Game. It's one of the hardest and most popular mods in Terraria. So, then the grind began. Like 20 minutes later, and with a lot of relay like, trades, this finally happened. We got it! 
Oh. I don't even know what to say. And I ended this stream feeling very, very accomplished. Now, starting the end game of this series is the next stream. Now, in this stream, we we're trying to fight the Wall of Flush and other bosses and just get some armor from trading so we could really progress in the game. And I instantly got this trade. Yep, we got the Wall of Flush summon first try. So I went down to fight the boss and. and. man, just see the clip. There it is. Alright, and 3 to 1. 3 to 1, he's gone. Yeah, he kind of insta-died. So, I got all the ore from hard mode and went back to the surface. Yeah, so I went to the surface and accidentally fought Empress of Light and put a lot of trading. Here's what I got. Oh. I will be taking that off you. Thank you very much. Then I went back to playing with the pool builders. We'll be just one. The world book is kind of cursed, but... That does not matter. After a lot of trading and just killing mobs, I got the Skeletron summon, and we were just the start of the end game, the radio. And then broke the Skeletron boss, so I locked off for that day. Uh. Okay. You're literally dealing no damage. How do I beat you, though? The next day, I started the second to last stream of the playthrough. I spawned in right away. As soon as I got in, I ran straight to the dungeon to hopefully try and get some boss summons, and got none. So I just left. On the surface, I fought the destroyer, which I got from another thing somewhere later at some point, and it went how you expect. Just watch the clip. We are here. Let's just get to the final destroyer. Boom, he's gone. After killing the destroyer, I went to my storage system and waited around until I got the mechanical eye. Ooh, we got a mechanical eye, we got a mechanical eye, let's go. Twins. Not something like this. Did we beat them? What? Yes. Okay. And after that, there's one more summon I need. It was a mechanical skull. Then, all I need to do is fight the boss so we'll be one step closer to beating the game. I'd spawn in Skeletron. Welcome back, man. Beating you this time. Don't even try, Skeletron. Let's go over to the jungle. The jungle's going restless. I ran to the jungle after that and logged off for the second to last time in the profile. I joined the world for the final part of the playthrough. I started by heading to the jungle to fight Lantera and Golem. Spawner. Come on, Lantera. But there's one problem. I couldn't find the temple. Yes, I did search, but I couldn't find it literally anywhere. But after like 10 minutes of searching, I finally found the temple and fought Golem. And of course, he was easy. Should not need to worry about doing this again. Oop. Golem. Man, what the? After that, I headed to my surf the surface to put things into my storage system. And then we fought Lunatic Cultist and the Pillars. Take out Vortex Pillar. Our spawn rates. There? You're giving me so much pain and suffering in vanilla to area. I'm not gonna let you do it in monitor area. And impending doom approaches. Okay. And what? Ah, what is that? I didn't get to see Moonlord because he's all bugged out. Like, what is this? Oh, this is a, 
Alright, thank you so much for watching, and that's going to be the end of the random profile in Terraria. If you want to see me do any other things, just make sure to check out my channel. I will be streaming it, like, around every day, so just look there. And, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.